Hey Polish fans, it's Caroline again, and welcome to another video here at Wild Moon Lacquer. If you are new, hi, my name is Caroline, and I love to talk about nail polish. And in today's video, we have a huge haul from Polish Pickup. This is all from the month of September, which was the biggest order I think I've ever done with Polish Pickup, ever. Normally my orders are between five and eight polishes, nine or 10 if I'm really, really feeling the month or have a bunch in that month that I like. And every so often I do get waxes or cuticle oils or things along those lines. But this month I got 16 items. So 14 nail polishes and two wax items. That is a huge haul for me from Polish Pickup. And you guys, this was the month of magnetics for me. Of these 14 nail polishes, five of them are magnetic. I also have at least one new to me brand as well as a lot of favorite brands. So the polishes are somewhat alphabetized by brand, except then I did do some slight shuffles around to get similar polishes next to each other like these two these two, these three green with purple, and these three down here. So hopefully it's easier to see some comparisons on the swatch wheel. So we've got a lot to look at. Let's go ahead and jump in. The first one is from Alchemy Lacquers, and this is one of our magnetics. This one is called Harvest Moon. This was an absolute must-have for the month. You should have seen my wish list. If you haven't, <laughs> I'll post the list up there in case you wanted to go back and see how many I did end up cutting, but my wish list was big. It was huge. It was it was even bigger than what I got here. I did end up cutting, I think, seven polishes or maybe even more. I forget what my total number was on my wish list, but this one made it because it was so beautiful and unique. It is a magnetic and you have this beautiful purple base. It's a very deep, rich purple. You have flakies in there that are silver hollow. And then look at that beautiful shift you see. You've got some beautiful bronze along in that purple and then it shifts to gold there at the edge. I believe that is the magnetic particle because here's how it looks magnetized. So all of that beautiful, I think on camera, pink but in person bronze and gold pulls up into that magnetic line. You also see sort of a blue glow to the polish. This is absolutely gorgeous. I am very, very happy I got this. This is going on my fall rack. It is stunning. This is it in two coats. I love the Aurora Borealis look that you have from that magnetic pull. You can see all the different colors, the pink, gold, and bronze, but this is definitely going on my fall rack. I love this one. It's so beautiful and really opaque in those two coats as well. So that first one was Alchemy Lacquers Harvest Moon. The second one I put next to this because in the bottle they do somewhat look similar. They are both deep, rich purples, but they end up looking completely different on the nail. The next one is Kathleen and & Co. and this is Graveyard Shift. This is also one of the magnetics. This one has a beautiful purple multi-chrome base. You have pink, green, and gold in that shift. And here's how it looks magnetized. So it sort of deepens up that base. You have a blue to purple shift that comes up into that magnetic line, leaving the base of it nice and rich. And sort of a pink glow left behind from that shimmer as well. Here's that one in three coats. As you can see, they look completely different on the nail. So not nearly as close as I was worried they might be. This one's a lot darker and vampier on the nail. The magnetic pull is also very different. You have a lot of blues and purples in that magnetic pull as opposed to the warmer shades that were in the one from Alchemy. This is another beautiful color. I absolutely love the shimmer in it. Really nice. And this one was three coats. It did have a sheerer formula as a lot of magnetics do. So I think longer nails might might still see visible nail line. So if you're worried about that, you could always pair this over a dark purple base to sort of give yourself a boost in opacity. But that one was Kathleen and Co's Graveyard Shift. The next one is a new to me brand and I was really excited to see this one. First of all, can we appreciate the bottles? These are gorgeous and they feel so nice. The cap has a really nice feel when you uncap it. And the bottle is just beautifully faceted. I absolutely love this shape. And this one is from Cleona Cosmetics and they are a Canadian brand, I believe. This one is called Hitchhiking Ghosts. And you guys, this one is stunning. You have a beautiful, like cornflowery 
indigo blurple shade in the base. You have a whole lot of shifting shimmer. You've got small flakies, and I think there's even micro glitter. So you have lots of shifts, lots to see. You can see the green and the gold, different shades of the gold there along the face of the bottle. This one is so, so beautiful. This is it in three coats. You can see that beautiful indigo shade at the base. And then, yeah, I'm pretty sure those are little twinklings of micro glitter. Not so much that I think this would be too, too difficult to remove. You do have a lot of other components like the shimmer and flakies. But really beautiful and very unique to my collection. So that was my first Cleona Cosmetics nail polish, and I can't wait to see what they come out with. I know on their website, I think they only have two nail polishes, but I'm glad that they're in polish pickup because we might be seeing monthly releases from them. I know they do have one for October. So that was Cleona Cosmetics Hitchhiking Ghosts. The next one is another one of the Magnetics and another one that is going on my fall rack. This one is Lemming Lacquer, Afraid of the Dark. This is so beautiful. It is this really rich berry leaning burgundy and then you have this beautiful flash of this warm magnetic pull plus you have hollow in here. This was another must have for the month. I had to get this one. It was so so beautiful. This is it in two coats and you guys just look at that. Look at that fire. This is just amazing. I absolutely love this and again very unique to my collection. I have quite a few magnetic polishes at this point and I don't have anything else quite like this. I absolutely love the combination. It is just beautiful. So that one was Lemming Lacquers Afraid of the Dark. The next one is I think the only topper that I got. This is Pretty Beautiful Unlimiteds. I smell children and this is a really interesting mix of flakies for the fall season. You also have a reflective component, which I don't remember what color it is, but it might just be silver. But look at how much that twinkles. You have the twinkling from those reflective glitters. You have a mix of multi-chrome flakies in those gorgeous fall colors. Look at that one. Plus you have this lavender or purple metallic flaky in there as well, which I thought was a beautiful combination. I think this will look really, really good over a lot of different colors. I love myself some fall flakies and these are just beautiful. So I did end up doing this one in two coats so you could see all of the beautiful flakies. And here it is just against my skin tone so you can sort of see all of the goodies. You can see those beautiful purple flakies in there. I thought that was a really nice touch and a beautiful accent to the fall flakies. So this is another one for the fall rack that was pretty beautiful Unlimited's I Smell Children. Now we're getting into our greeny purples. The first one is a Magnetic by Vanessa Molina and this one, they changed what their label is, this one is called Let's Boogie Up and this is a really interesting multi-chrome base. You have a mix of green, purple, and blue. And I love the particle sizes of this one too, kind of on the larger side. And then when you put the magnet on it, the magnetic pole is that bright green to like a soft sea green. You can see both of those colors there. And it leaves the base of the polish a nice darkened green that has a beautiful purple flash to it. This is it in three coats. This was one of the more translucent formulas, but it looks really good in three coats. And look at that bright green. I've got that golden green. In person, it's much more of a vibrant shade of green. And then that beautiful multi-chrome base is really, really pretty. So that was Vanessa Molina's Let's Boogie Up. This next one is another magnetic and here again I thought that these would be a bit more similar from how they were looking in the bottle but no they're very very different. This next one is Music City Beauties. I put a spell on you and this is also a magnetic and it has reflective glitter in it. So you can see those reflective glitters twinkling away along the edge of the bottle there and then this is what it looks like magnetized. So you get a deepened, almost blackened purple base with a very bright electric, like evil green glow that pulls up into the magnetic line. 
And in person, there's so much else going on around the edges of the bottle. I see purple, there's flashes of blue in that magnetic line. This is a very interesting polish. This is it in two coats. Again, this was nice and opaque in just these two coats. Look how interesting it looks on the nail. You've got that really vivid, bright golden green. That's like the color that they use for evil in like a lot of the Disney movies like Maleficent and Scar have green behind them. And this is the, sh the type of shade of green that I think of for that. Um, I think on camera it's coming off a bit more on the yellow side, but it's definitely a vivid, vivid green. And this is another magnetic that is super unique to my collection. I don't have anything else even remotely close to this. So that one was Music City Beauties. I put a spell on you. The next one I thought might potentially be sort of similar, but it's not. <laughs> this is Night Owl Lacquer's Magic Potion. This was another one that I thought was absolutely gorgeous. And of course, since I got it, it was a must have for that month. It is another purple. This one has a stunning shimmer. Again, you have a larger shimmer particle in here. And I think there's like a micro glitter or a micro flaky that you can sort of see speckled throughout there. And just look at that beautiful green. You can see different shades of the purple and fuchsia along different sides of the bottle. The green is definitely playing very prominently on camera, but in person I'm seeing a lot of that beautiful berry purple. And this is it in three coats. This is another one that did require three for full opacity, but I think some nail lengths might be okay with just two. This is another very beautiful vampy shade. I love all the different colors. Purple is, of course, one of my favorite colors, if not my top pick favorite color. And I absolutely love it when you mix it with blue or green. And this one has a bit of a duochrome in that green shimmer. So that one was Night Owl Lacquer's Magic Potion. Now we're getting into some flakies. The first one is from Wildflower Lacquer, and this is a ghostly good time. Now, this was one that I was considering cutting, and it's not because I didn't like it. It's because I was concerned slash thinking that I might have something similar because being a purple lover, I would have grabbed something like this anytime I saw it. So I was telling myself, you know, you probably have something kind of close, but then I'm like, well, but it, what if I don't? <laughs> So the FOMO got me on this one, but it is a stunning, stunning polish. It is, of course, a purple polish, and then you have a load of flakies. I mean, look at that one. Holy moly, that's huge. You have a rainbow of flakies in here, and it is just beautiful. So many big flakies in there. So this is it in three coats. It is a beautiful, juicy purple. And we will have to do some comparisons at some point to see if I do have something close, but I am happy that I got it because it is a gorgeous polish. This is another candidate for my fall rack, although you should see the purples on my potential list. I, I have a whole bucket of them <laughs> at this point, but this is a beautiful one. So that was Wildflower Lacquers, a ghostly good time. The next one is another flaky from Nailed It, and this one is Hail to the King. This was another one that I was super excited to see because it has a gorgeous variety of flakies in it. You have those multi-chrome flakies that are fog toned, but then you also have these blue ones. Plus you have another flaky in here that shifts purple. So this is very unique to my collection. This has such a beautiful mix of colors. I love the pop of that bright blue. This is it in two coats. You can see all of those beautiful colors popping. The blue against that deeper, almost burgundy shade of purple. If that is such a thing. <laughs> you can also see all the shifts of the golds and the oranges popping up as well. This is another candidate for the fall rack. In fact, I will most likely have this on my fall rack. So that one was Nailed It's Hail to the King. Next up in our flaky polishes is one from Rogue Lacquer. This is Jack. This is a really beautiful shade of like cornflower blue, and it is loaded with these gorgeous flakies. You have shades of gold, soft green, different shades of pink and orange. It's a beautiful shade. I think this one speaks winter to me, so I'll be happy to pull it out in the winter. And here's how it looks in just two coats. The flaky payoff on this one is beautiful. Look at that. I love the warm glow against the softer blue. Just a beautiful shade. So that one was Rogue Lacquers, Jack. 
Now we're getting into the three most similar polishes. These all have kind of a similar vibe to them. They are purple bases with a very strong red shift to them. This is KB Shimmers, It Scares Me, Sassy Sauce Glampire, and Watches Scarlet Power. And I am happy to report that none of them are dead on dupes, <laughs> but they are absolutely gorgeous. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. The first one is from KB Shimmer, and this is It Scares Me. And this was a must have for the month, obviously, because I got it. <laughs> but I love this type of polish. You have this beautiful, rich purple base in a jelly. Then you have this larger particled shifting shimmer that has so many colors in it. You have golds and greens, pinks and blues. I don't know if the blue is going to pop up on camera, but you can sort of see the green to aqua there at the edge. And look at the particle size. It's super beautiful. This is it in three coats. Because these all do have jelly formulas, you will need three for almost full opacity. These formulas do have the potential for having visible nail line, depending on your nail length and application. But this one is absolutely gorgeous. And I did decide to just now pull another polish that I thought might be worth comparing, at least in the bottle, and that is Pie Colors. It was Agatha all along. This one came out in Polish Pickup a few months ago maybe even more than a few months ago. Um, and it reminds me of this one, but again, they aren't dead on dupes. Although these two, I think are more similar than the other two to the KB Shimmer. This one has very similar, if not the same shifts, but a different particle size. So I'll have to compare those on the nail, but there's those two. So that first one was KB Shimmer's It Scares Me. The next one is from Sassy Sauce. This one is Glampire. And this one has an addition of these beautiful flakies. They are like a red, you can see that deep, rich purple base. And then this one is jam packed full of a red to orange to gold to green shifting shimmer. Very, very dense in this one. The particle size too is different. The one in KB Shimmer is larger and has a slightly different shift. And here's the Sassy Sauce in three coats. Again, you have a very intense red glow to this one. And then of course you have the addition of those flakies. Well, this is another one that is probably going to make it to my fall rack. In fact, I'm tempted to add maybe all of these. I don't know. I probably don't need all of these, but that KB Shimmer is gorgeous too, as is the Watcha. Uh, how do I decide? <laughs> But this one has that beautiful, very deep, rich garnet glow to it, and it's just gorgeous. So that one was Sassy Sauce Glampire. And then the last one is by Watcha. This one is Scarlet Power. This one has, I think, the smallest particle sizes to it, and it does have more of a soft glow compared to Glampire. So same description, it's got a beautiful jelly purple base, loaded with a shifting shimmer. Look at all the rainbows that you're seeing. Again, with the green, blue, orange, gold, and beautiful red shift against the face of the bottle. And here's that one in three coats. This one is really, really gorgeous as well. Again, you've got that very strong red glow on the face of the nail. So another beautiful color. Again, you can tell that I like this kind of polish. I absolutely love it when you mix purple with red. I think they complement each other so, so nicely. So that was Owacha. Scarlet Power. All right, now we're getting into the two waxes. The first one is from Linby Designs, and this is here for a gourd time. This one is scented with warm spices, sweet vanilla, and soft woods. They also have some cute little glitters there. This one has a very interesting soft mix of scents. I definitely pick up on the sweet vanilla. The spices aren't as prominent as I was thinking they would be. And I think it might be that they're sort of tempered by the soft wood scent that she used. Which doesn't come off uh, too masculine. Sometimes when you have a woodsy scent description in a wax or a, another scent, it can sort of lean towards the masculine side of the scents. But I think this is very, very lovely. It's got a complexity to it, but it's not too sweet. It's not too foody. And it's also not too spice oriented. This is a very nice wax to melt. So I am curious which scent notes might be more prominent when it is warm, but we'll have to see. 
that's probably going to be going in the wax warmer here soon. So that was Linby Designs here for a gourd time. And then the second wax that I got is Pretty Beautiful Unlimited's Pumpkin Eggnog. Look at this wax, you guys. <laughs> it is these beautiful crescent moon shapes. Also, look at the beautiful fall colors. This one is scented in pumpkin eggnog and is described as a magical combination of creamy vanilla custard, fresh pumpkin and apple, hints of cinnamon and clove with subtle base notes of cedar and musk. So you've got some beautiful glitter in there as well. In this one, the spice notes are a lot more prominent. I smell cinnamon right up front. Actually, I think that might be clove and then cinnamon behind it. So the clove is very, very prominent in this one. We'll have to see if the more subtle notes of the pumpkin and apple come out when it's warm, but this is a beautiful fall scent. So that was pretty beautiful Unlimited's pumpkin eggnog. And there you have it. That was my big haul from Polish Pickup for the month of September. Let me know what you ordered for that month. I know for me, it was my biggest month, wish list and order wise. It was very hard to narrow it down. In fact, there are at least a couple of polishes that I do wish that I'd gotten, but this was big enough of an order as it was. As always, thank you so much for hanging out with me and looking at some beautiful nail polish. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to hit the little subscribe button down below. That way you don't miss out on any of my new videos. And I will see you in that next one.